welcome to another exciting episode of Let's Play. This week, we are talking about the Xbox One. One? Why? I don't know. Uh, joining us, like always, is Sorg. Hi, Sorg. How are you? Hi, me. Okay. Uh, we also got Chachi in the studio. What Chachi, up? how's it going? And Riz via Skype or via Google Hangout. Same as me. Hi, everybody. So, right, since we're on Riz, uh, Riz, what'd you play this week? I'm actually in the middle. Oh, I was in the middle of playing Battle Block Theater. I am on the very last level. And I'm probably going to get a hernia playing it. But I'm also playing Blops and Robot Unicorn Attack 2. And that's about it. Awesome. <laughs> Cool. Uh, Sword, what'd you play this week? Uh, this week, I uh, uh, mostly was playing the challenge Mega Man 2. I, I, I plopped down my 99 cents for that in the App Store. I uh, also came across my old cartridge of it, too. But I don't oh, have nice. Nintendo hooked up right now. Um, I'm kind of moving stuff up into my office still. Um, and uh, I, I got to say, uh, it was it was uh, interesting. And I think putting on easy was a mistake. Because uh, <laughs> I'm like, I just want to play through it, right? Just kind of remember everything. But it's a little too easy. Yeah. Um, also, does it seem like things kind of like, like the 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 characters kind of um, you know respawn weird on there? Like I keep like going back and somebody respawns like in a weird spot that I, don't, I just don't remember from before. Maybe it's the emulator or something. That could uh, be. Yeah. Also, I think in the last week or maybe this is the week before I, I got back into a little bit of the He-Man game on uh, iOS, which I definitely recommend. Uh, they did just add a, uh, about a month or two ago, a She-Ra version of it on there too. So cool. So a She-Ra campaign. So cool. Uh, Chachi, what'd you play? Uh, I, first off, I would like to say that I, I played more than just uh, black ops this week. Um, <laughs> what? but I will get back to black ops. Wow. Uh, well, no, no. I, I mean, immediately I will talk about black ops. Um, but I started playing, um, burnout, uh, paradise. Fun game. Um, I have to say that I discovered that I am better at racing games that aren't realistic racing games. <laughs> We're not so awesome, like, like, I'm really good at Burnout, and I'm really yeah. good at Need for Speed, but uh, fuck NASCAR or Forza <laughs> or anything that's realistic. <laughs> I, I'm, anything terrible. Like, I, to. Yeah. I'm a beast at Mario Kart. Right. <laughs> but, you know, put me in a real car. Uh -uh. Huh. Um... But uh, I, I did play at Black Ops Two um, this past week, uh, and last How'd that night. How'd go for you, Commander? Uh, last night, I hit Master Prestige Master. Nice. Um, so as Riz just did, you will out. You will all now refer to me as Commander. Yep. Um, Commander Chachi, or just Commander? Just Commander. 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 And that's all there is to it. Nice. Um, and it, it's funny and uh, uh, really quick. Um, we were I was playing with a friend of mine on there, and he was like, "Now, when you get there, do you have to go through the levels, and that's how you finally unlock everything, or are you just done?" I'm like, at that point, I I was seven k away, seven thousand experience points away. And I'm like, "Well, let's play this match, and I'll tell you." And it, as soon as the match is over, it pops up and it says, "Congratulations, you're a prestige master. All weapons and perks are unlocked." <laughs> so you don't even. You it doesn't even. Yeah, it doesn't even make you go through uh, the motions of uh, going into prestige mode anymore. You're just done. <laughs> you are prestige. Um, so, I, and I'm also playing Candy Crush. <laughs> wow, jeez, so, man. What you, you needed that nerdy kid from uh, King of Kong to be like stand behind you and just go. We got a potential uh, prestige unlock coming up. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, but yeah, it. it uh, yeah, so I accomplished that. Um, so, yeah. And the rest of life is moot. Uh, I have been posting uh, the videos over at... Uh, ready for this link? You got, is uh, it it's actually going to work this time? You ready for this link? Okay. I'm ready. YouTube.com slash Chachi Says Blops. Chachi Says Blops. That actually works. Uh -huh. <laughs> Hold on, we're checking it out. It's loading, loading, loading. Uh, uh, it works. Oh, yeah. Da -da. So, there you go. Um, I put up a, a Look, movie trailer. it's a real trailer. channel. Yeah, I put up a movie trailer, 
and because I found templates in iMovie that was really fun. And then I uh, I made a uh, music montage, um, montage of game clips um, to P.O.D.'s Boom because I love that song. Yeah, because that never gets old. Nope. What? <laughs> nope. It doesn't. Awesome. I like right. I, I like seeing you go multimedia with this trash. Well, did, did you see the transitions? I threw yeah, transitions. Yeah, that's a nice transition. Yeah. You can't see them too well. On did the, you on the use the star wipe? No, no, no star wipe. No, I used no flip. Wipe. That's like isn't that like the default in iMovie? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but uh, all right. So you got some from the chat as well. If you'd like me to, uh, oh yeah, spit those out here. Yeah. Brother Sorg says he played more Bastion. Uh, that's one of those indie games, isn't it? Yeah. That's, um, that's it. Also went back to play Portal Two and Half Life Two since I'm in beta for the Steam cards. And he actually also g- gifted me over uh, the Steam cards. I don't. I haven't gotten into it. What does anybody know what these Steam cards are? Mm-hmm. No idea. So yeah, well, I'll check. Well, maybe I'll, I'll try to get take a, a, a minute with them and, and hopefully report back on a future mm-hmm. episode. So, Bobby. Yeah. Um, I played, um, of course, Marvel Avengers Alliance. Uh-huh. Um, so close to getting, uh, uh, what's her name? Pepper Potts. Um, and I played, um, no, I, I didn't really play much else of any, really. I didn't play many games this week. I'm trying to think in my head. Um, I played Mega Man 2, basically. So it was a slow, a slow gaming week uh, for me. I, I didn't play the challenge because it's Mega Man 2. Uh, I've played Mega play Man 2, <laughs> and I already know that it holds I up. could play through Mega yes. Man 2 in my so, head. So. The yeah, only yeah. thing that gave me trouble in that game was the uh, quick man, the bars, that, the lasers that go across. Mm-hmm. So. Yeah, yeah. Um, I mean, uh, it, it's, a, it's a good game, and it holds up. That's, I mean, that's why I didn't play it. it it's, it's not something that I needed to be like, oh, I wonder if this still works. Hmm. Yeah, you don't need to play games like Mega Man 2 or Super Mario 3 to know that they hold up. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Even even in this world where, you know, graphics are pretty much realistic, there's still games out there like like those two that I just mentioned that are awesome. They're still fun. Although I was hearing the magnetic blocks in my sleep. But they, you know, all that stuff that used to haunt you, right? Uh, yeah, also, exactly. um, I, I did, uh, I played uh, Legend of Zelda the other day, too, okay. on, on my Nintendo. That's another one that holds up. Um, before before we move on, uh, this week's challenge, actually, is I got, Kid I got one, I got one, I got one, I got one. Kid Chameleon for it. the Sega, Sega Genesis. Yes. So that was the one you were thinking of, wasn't it? That's what I was thinking of. That would have made it up to you. Are there, okay. Are there any methods to play this if you don't have like a Genesis? Um, handy? it is on. Um, there the... is a virtual. I believe there's a virtual. There's Sega a virtual site too. Is there? Yeah. 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 All right. Um, and, and and also on Xbox Live, uh, there's the um, I think they released the arcade game of it. I'm not sure. I, I'll check on that and let you guys know. And also, um, on the Sega Genesis Genesis Collection for 360, it's on, mm-hmm. on there too. Mm-hmm. So. But uh, uh so um today was a pretty big day guys. Really? What, what yeah. are you talking about? Um uh Microsoft uh, invited a whole bunch of people up to their campus and uh Oh, um, did they get did they give cookies and stuff? I, 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 probably. No, I wasn't at the campus. Yeah, they did was. have cookies. Oh, it yeah, yeah, it was it was in a tent. Oh a, no, I think Google I yeah. It was Xbox graduation day. Uh, um but uh so there was this event um, uh-huh. That lots of people were invited to, and Microsoft not us, not, us. No, not yet. Why not? Uh, Microsoft did something that uh, uh, Sony couldn't do. Nope. Um, they had the new Xbox on stage working. Yes. Yep. Um, today was the Xbox Xbox One review or reveal uh, press conference in Microsoft's. Uh, Campus in wherever Microsoft's campus is. Redman, what do you, yes. What do you guys think of the name? It, it's it, it's uh, Microsoft's way to be more like Apple. Mm-hmm. Um, it? It, it, yeah, it's it's Microsoft saying, "Oh, well, we can go back to just a regular name without actually going back to a regular name." Can't because, wait for Xbox One S. <laughs> <laughs> because I mean, if you think about it. Um, it, it Xbox One isn't that far off from iPad. Mm-hmm. Okay? Because, I mean, all iPad is is iPad One uh, with the One being implied. Mm-hmm. 
So, mm-hmm. I, mean, I mean, this is Microsoft's way of copying Apple without getting sued. <laughs> that's good idea. Good idea. That's a, yeah, that's pretty good. Oh, Although it, the, uh, they, they don't know how to John, count because it went yeah, uh, yeah. 360 and then one. Uh, Juggalo so. John in the chat room said that uh, he's already seen YouTube pre-roll ads for the Xbox One. Nice. So they are mm-hmm. working quick. Um, so it, they they took us in-depth. Um, they showed us hardware. They showed us software. They showed demonstrations of all of it. Um, they showed video games. Yes, um, that's the part we're going to cover here. If you want to hear the yes. hardware and software coverage of it, um, go check out Awesome Cast over at SorgatronMedia dot com. Yeah, um, we, we, we covered we that. We kind of geeked out over the hardware side of it and the toy mm-hmm. aspect of it in the video. Yeah, uh, um, already because I, I thought that was that was the place to do it here. Here, it's we, about we games, don't know right? we don't know all that hard work mumbo jumbo sort. We're going to talk <laughs> just, video games. So, exactly. Uh, 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 so yeah, uh, all of that's over at Sorgatron Media uh, dot com at Awesome Cast. Um, we we talk about the hardware and the software aspect of it. Uh, to recap quickly for here though, um, they retold everything. Mm-hmm. Um, it has uh, three simultaneous OS running on it. Um, the Connect can pick up your heartbeat. Has 1080p um, uh, a 1080p lens in it, and. Uh, the controller has even be, been redone. What do you say about the connect? It's like one billionth of a third, or one thirteenth of a billionth of a second, or something like that. Yeah, it uh, picks it, everything up. And- it, it's ridiculous. Uh, the amount of pixels it sends back and forth um, is just insane. Um, but then Xbox or Microsoft did something that Sony tried to do and failed. Um, we did the count really quick on Awesome Cast, and we counted eight. Um, eight gameplay footages. Okay. Eight. Um, and that was just today. Uh, so that means uh, there there were eight companies that have had this working product for a while. Mm-hmm. I mean, a really long time to get the stuff that they had. Which is further than Sony is right now. Because Sony couldn't even... Or, in comparison, because Sony couldn't even show us the the, the damn system. Mm-hmm. I guess. Oh say wait! No. Oh wait! They released they released a video today of a Sasquatch like uh, view of their console. It was blurry and really far away. Who gives a shit? <laughs> it was like what? Seriously, seriously. If you're like gonna. Uh, well, it, but, also, uh, while we're talking about Sony really quickly, to combat all of the Microsoft press today, um, Sony did announce that they will be uh, talking more in depth about their con- their console, uh, the PS4, on June 10th in an mm-hmm. online event that will air at 9 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. That That's weird. Because isn't that E3 that E3? in two weeks? Yes. Why not do it there? Because it's not a Sony press conference. Um, but anyhow, back to the Xbox. Yeah. Um, what did you guys think of the games they chose to show? I, I'm i okay with them. Um, uh, I, I'm, on, I'm fully on board with g g g g now. Um, yeah, I, I was kind of skeptical about Ghost I, yeah, until I saw I, that. They, they got me today. Well, and, and that's what sort we were watching. Uh, we were watching the press conference, um, pre awesome cast upstairs, um, eating our pizza like we normally do, <laughs> and uh, at, and they showed the Ghost trailer, and I told him that I was excited about it, and, and his first response is really because last week you said you weren't so sure, mm-hmm. and uh, and I was like. And, and, and here's the thing about this game, okay? When you re- release a picture in a teaser trailer, there's not much to be excited for. Mm-hmm. But then uh, Activision slash Infinity Ward releases this concept for a game series that we're all used to with a concept that is new. Mm-hmm. It is not war- it's not army versus army anymore. Which is what I'm excited about. Mm-hmm. This is what Black Ops should have been, mm-hmm. but isn't. Now, yep. now I gotta combat that a little bit though, um, because do you really think the multiplayer is not going to reflect the army versus army like Black Ops Black Ops does? And the multiplayer is a different get, beast. It's, it's a different you, beast. You and can't. It, and it, yeah. weren't, did, did, weren't you saying well, like, well, who plays single player? 
also, didn't they say that the your your avatar is going to have different characteristics that you customize for the cool. online play? Cool. Yes. Yeah. Uh, back on, we're, we're, uh, I'm still talking about the the story mode though. Mm-hmm. Uh, okay. That's that's the thing that Call of Duty has been doing wrong. Okay. Yes. Yeah. yeah, that's true. They haven't given anyone a reason to play the story mode. Okay. Mm-hmm. Because I mean, honestly, Sork, when you bought the game. Mm-hmm. And you opened it up, and you put it in your Xbox. Mm-hmm. Where's the first place you went? Actually, the single player is the first place I go. Um, now, now with the first one, you are the only person. <laughs> really? no, no, well, I haven't the, even touched. No, well, with, the one, the first, the, with the first one, Riz. With the first one, where'd you go? No, no, wait, 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 wait. No, I had not played any Call of Duty before with the uh, Modern Warfare Three. So the, I wanted to get familiar with it before people started whooping my ass online. So I started playing a single player game to, to start getting used to the controls and everything. It makes sense. This one did the same thing. Like, let's see what's new. You know, I, I got it, popped it in when not everybody was around. You know, that, that's what I want to check out. I enjoy the single player game because I like how epic and cinematic it is. That's what got me interested into it in the first place when I played a demo of, uh, I think it was the first Black Ops. And that got me interested. And I came back. I, re- I remember a time when I was new to um, multiplayer gaming. Uh, it was right when I got my 360. Um, I got. And Mikey and Bob told me to pick up a copy of Call of Duty 4, or Modern Warfare 4. Or no, yeah, Call of Duty 4, Modern Warfare. Yeah. The first Modern Warfare game. I got the game, and they're, they're like, oh, you really need to play with us. And I'm like, oh, okay. So I just played the single-player mode, and I'm like, oh, it was great. And then I took it back to Blockbuster. <laughs> not not knowing about multiplayer. Wow. So then I bought the game, and... and and then by that time, uh, Modern Warfare 2 was out already, I think. And I just, I played that with them online. But yeah, that was, they're like, you really got to play it. And I'm like, oh, that was awesome. The single player is great. So, yeah. Now I'm all in for multiplayer, and I'm excited for this game's multiplayer. This might, this might be the first game from Call of Duty series that I'm actually excited for the single player. Yeah, okay. exactly. The only game. Okay. The only game. And you get a dog. And you get a puppy. And they showed dogs in mocap suits. It was awesome. (laughs) Well, see, my whole thing was I was excited for uh, the, the, the story mode on Black Ops. Because, I mean, the name alone, Black Ops. Mm-hmm. And I'm like, oh man, you get to do all the shit they don't want you to know about. It's the same game as before. Yeah, it. and I'm like, oh, this is modern warfare. Yeah. I, I've been here, done this. Yeah, I guess there wasn't really much different than that. No, I mean, I, I still enjoyed it. <laughs> right. You know? And I'm just like, oh, I've I've done this before. I this... mean, it's still like missions, <laughs> and you're kind of on your own, and whatever. But it, uh, all right. So, uh, because we're not going to show the trailer and get blocked on YouTube, um, it, basically what it shows you is that the United States government is in complete disarray. Someone came in and completely fucked us up. Um, mm-hmm. Our our entire government military system completely down, and now it's down to just a handful of the what's left of the best soldiers that the military had to offer, taking on. An entire uh, military force from another country. Mm-hmm. And a dog. <laughs> and his little dog, too. <laughs> with scars. This a dog is, with scars. This is, so this is an adult Scooby-Doo with guns. Um, and bombs. And, and bombs. But, um, yeah, it, just that concept alone from the trailer was enough to have me all in. I am all in. Hey, adult Scooby-Doo. That's why it's called G-G-G-G-G-Ghosts. <laughs> 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 oh wow! Um, so yeah, uh, adult do, adult Scooby Doo. I'm all in. Um, take my money, Activision. <laughs> take my money. At the end of the game, it's going to reve- be revealed. Bobby Kotick just it was me. It would I would have gotten away with it for working for you meddling Call of Duty players. <laughs> What about uh, hardware, guys? What, what do you guys think about the new kind of features? You know, obviously we're going to have the TV stuff that kind of goes with it. Uh, cool. But but what do we think about like the new Connect? Is that really going to change our game? Uh, you know, or is it just going to be? It's an, always going to. Or is it just going to be for, kind of there and shoehorned in like it has been this first generation? From what I heard, it's always going to be on. Yeah. And which is kind of it's going to always going to be staring at you. Yeah. No matter what you're doing. I'm gonna name mine Wally. 
<laughs> I mean, I know it does that to Chachi all the time. I was going to call it uh, Johnny Five. Uh, that's yeah. a good one, too. Or Johnny Six, because Johnny Five's already exists. So this yeah. one, this one mm. would be Johnny Six. Short um, Circuit does not hold up. <laughs> no, it doesn't. Um, <laughs> but uh, you know what? I, I, I don't know how I can say this otherwise. Uh, it, if, if you want privacy, stop using technology. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Goodbye. Uh, We're in uh, Skynet now. Uh, uh, put your put your computer in the trash. Actually, no. Don't put your computer in the trash. Put your computer in a box. You can mail it to me, Chachi says, mm-hmm. uh, along with whatever cell phone you're using. And whatever <laughs> video game and whatever video game systems you have, <laughs> and uh, I will. Twenty five gladly... looks so sad at you, Chachi. <laughs> and I will. 25. I will gladly take. I will gladly take this uh, invasion. Uh, these invasion of privacy machines out of your lives. Because, quite frankly, if you're worried about privacy, I don't. Not, no, goodbye. Chachi just wants to build a uh, Jaeger from Pacific Rim with used computer parts. <laughs> So, yeah, if you're worried about the always on, turn it off. Yeah. One of the funny things from today I was thinking of when he said, when he told the Xbox, he's like, Xbox, go, go, go home. I was like, you're drunk. Yeah, we did too. Everyone (laughs) said that. Everybody did. I was like, was kind of mean when he said, just go home. Xbox, go home. (laughs) You're drunk. I want to do that so bad. So yeah, <laughs> but um, I don't know. What do you think? Do you think? Uh, are we excited about Connect games? Mm. The possibilities? No. Are we if, just they're like, better, uh, if they're better, if they're better than they better, were yeah. before. Do you know what yes. I'm excited about? What? Connect wise, uh, being able to successfully control my Xbox with my voice. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So if they, if they deliver, because they, I mean, it sounds like they delivered this already. Or uh, they, they attempted to deliver this already in demonstrations and everything. As an add-on. I don't know how else to stress this to you. The original Connect and the original Connect software and the original Smart Glass and the Im- original Smart Glass software, all add-ons. Mm-hmm. And another thing... So you can take a peanut butter well. and jelly sandwich and add pickles, and those pickles are going to suck. That's yep. uh, DLC okay. pickles. <laughs> Um, another thing he said today that I was impressed with um, was uh, with the Connect was when he said it, it's going to recognize the controller and how like some shooting games you you can have like a shield with you at all times. I thought that was kind of cool. What I don't understand the concept. What are you? What are you? He, like, he said if like hold, if you hold your Xbox Xbox controller mm-hmm. to the to the Connect, you can pretend that the Xbox controller. Is a shield. Hmm. Yeah. So this is now. Now again, you know. So the Connect's going to be uh, come with every system. So it's always going to be there. So that's yeah. one barrier. That's yes. that's that's one thing where uh, the developers gonna aren't going to go all in on the Connect because not everybody's going to have one. It's always like a feature they added on to Mass Effect or something, right? right. Um, or they didn't go all in when they did make a game for it because not everybody's going to have this thing. So now that they know that thing is always going to be there, the features are going to be up there. And, and you're also saying that instead of like. Um, the uh, the PlayStation Four controller isn't it have a thing where it has actually a gyroscope in it, and mm-hmm. that's and that's actually yeah, going to be your does. motion response. You don't even need this. This is this almost becomes like it probably just recognizes the shape of your controller because it has the resolution to do that and your motions. And so now you're having this PlayStation Move kind of concept happening just with what's on hand, which has yeah. always been why Connect's been better than Move. <coughs> That's awesome. Yeah, That's awesome. Have that that can be controls. that integrated. I, I think the only problem you have now is looking at uh, somebody like a Modern War. I'm sorry, but not a Call of Duty franchise. What are they going to do to make that game experience different? Uh, different here, here, from I'll an Xbox you. to a Sony, uh, because you have different kind of interactivities. I'll show you. What are you showing me? What are you showing me? You got you got your controller. You know, then pew, 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 then pew, you're kind of holding pew, it for the audio. He's kind of holding it sideways, and you're saying, "What? This is just gonna be your, your whole." It's height? gonna be. It's gonna be this. You're gonna hold it sideways, and you're gonna press it. Okay. You're press a button. 
So that's that becomes how like do your it. gun. Because you're going to point not... and click. So, like I, and engaged. again, that's that idea that it, we really didn't see much of this because the whole like driving with just my hands and just shooting with my hands or something like that mm. didn't really happen, right? Like we did not see games that did this to a again, great effect. They timed this perfectly. Okay. Because in 13 days, Microsoft is going to have a, p- a press conference again at E3. Mm-hmm. At E3, they're going to sh- they're going to shell everything at this Xbox One. The, how how to control it? How to how, the games that are going to be on it? Mm-hmm. How they're going to do this? How they're going to put everything together? And it's going to it's going to be fresh in people's minds. With the, with, the move, with the PlayStation 4, they announced it, what, like a few months ago? Yeah. Right? Everybody's forgotten about it by now. Yeah. But, but what did they say? Like, what what they say? 15, new, 15 exclusive games are going to be announced at E3, eight of which are new franchises? Yes. That's awesome. Yes. Um, that's more than the, the PlayStation could do. Mm-hmm. mm-hmm. So, um, so, on top of the eight games they already showed... Um, that means at least 15 companies already are elbow deep in this. Mm-hmm. Oh, God. So, um, Chachi, I believe you have our boss question this week? I do. Boss if, fight question. If it were available tomorrow, yes or no, would you buy it? This price and option. It, your money's not a problem. Let's, pre- let's presume it's a price. And it's a price that you think is reasonable mm-hmm. for what you're getting. Yes. Yes, Bobby. Yes. Ford. Um, just pretty much solely because of the stuff we talked about on Awesome Cast. Yes. Uh, I think it's a great toy. I want. I you know technically I think it's a great toy. Like I wanted to play with this. Like I want to play with Google Glass. Um, and I wouldn't mind having the next Call of Duty uh, while I was at it. So, I mean, I think it really does And Black sense. Flag. And, Bla- and what? Black fl- Oh, Black, yeah, that's right. That's going to be on it, too. I think this is just the natural progression. Um, now, my, the problem I have is, you know, my Xbox 360 doesn't feel old. No, no. There's a lot of gimmicks happening here that are making, like, look what this can do. It's not so much the games. Graphics are not impressing me that much over the mm. year. But it's mm. just, well, this is the next one. I mean, I, I'm looking at the getting the new Xbox like I get my new iPhone every so often. It's just Because there's new content on it. It's just taken me six years to get my new iPhone in this case. So, um, and I think I think Microsoft has the best argument for their system post-dating their previous one than Mm -hmm. everybody else. Obviously, Wii U, Sony hasn't showed us enough. Mm -hmm. Sony just never had enough. No. Blurry video. And we'll see see if they can dig themselves out of that, but right now, it's like, no, not really exciting me there, Sony. The only thing I'm a tad worried about with the Xbox is the... um, the always on thing but i mean i'm always on anyway so i don't really care i think that's just like a new buzzword for something that's already happening yeah um the uh the used game thing there's another thing the used game that you're i don't like the idea that the games are going to have to install right off the bat but i guess Mm -hmm. they're going to the charger tells me that they're actually going to play while you're installing yeah that's the thing they're going to play while they're doing that the idea that i guess tied to an account isn't too bad because i'm like well then i can't like go to a friend's house with the game actually if it, it, that actually makes sense because then if you go to a friend's house with a game and you log in with your account, you're going to have the game there too. Everything and, they have the cloud stuff. More and more, my Xbox feels like my Steam account, and mm-hmm. I think that's going to be a cool thing. Now, the one thing. Oh, go ahead. Go ahead. The the one thing that I think it may hurt um, is like companies like GameFly that have rented games but yes. i mean they could install like a chip that's they could re be read by the the xbox and say think, hey this is a gamefly game so yeah i think what you know. you're going to do I, I think you're going to start seeing uh specialized versions of the games that are rental mm-hmm. copies kind of like you already see with dvds now with netflix yeah like you get mm-hmm. that one that's like uh uh it has rental plastered all over it, maybe even a netflix logo and all like you spe- can't access the special all features. special features or there's like an mm. r-rated version on it and you it's like go buy it if you want to see this part it's like i think you're going to start seeing that with rentals um hopefully they don't disable stuff 
but you'll still like there'll be some limitations or something like that. From what I heard, and this is just all speculation about uh, what I heard, um, Xbox is looking into the. I don't know how, but they're going to able people to trade in used games. Yeah, I'm curious about that That's too. Good. I don't know if that means like they're gonna send you like a like like what Netflix does, send you like a little uh, holder, and then you hit you have to send it in or something, or if it's like you trade it in on the Xbox. I feel like the Xbox like deletes the disc or something and puts that on. Like for sale on online. I can't say that. I, I, there's two. Things, there's two things here. So we have this whole used game side of things, and maybe it's something where you have to deactivate. It. Like you have to deactivate a license for Photoshop on the PC. Yeah. You know, <laughs> like I feel like that's where this is going to end up. And also, it's kind of cutting out the used game market. But then again, I, and I don't know. This is different for everybody. But how how much are you buying used games? I can't remember the last time I bought a used game. One because GameStop's pissed me off so bad. Yeah, uh, I mean that's the big black eye. I mean we got great things here in this town in Pittsburgh, of like the Exchange, but in more suspect ones right down the road from them. Uh, but I think I think it's a very seedy thing, and I think um, there's a positive and a non-positive the idea that these game companies now get a piece of the action when there's used games. If they have mm-hmm. the idea that uh, you get the used game and there's a fee to activate it. So I, I think it's very interesting, and we'll, we have to see how this pans out officially before we really uh, make a decision on it. So yeah. it's all speculation. All right. At least for now, right? Chachi, would you buy the system today? In a heartbeat. No no second You thoughts. already threw your wallet at the TV several times I did. today, okay? <laughs> um, they showed the hardware. Shut up and take my money. Um, they, sh- they showed the hardware, and I yelled at them to uh, take... Chachi Maybe. threw at it before the show started. Yeah, um, I was watching the countdown and got really excited. <laughs> and did a premature throw, <laughs> and then they showed that uh, that that video at the beginning to hype you up about it. And they're like, "We've included you," and I'm like, "Take it! Yes, I'm there! Take it! I'm, I'm in there! I am in!" The, the countdown music kind of sounded like Batman music. I was, I was like, excited. "Oh, is it new console Batman?" I was excited. <laughs> Uh, awesome. All right. Well, I think that's going to do it for us this week. Um, that's right. Play your Kid Chameleon, guys. Yep. The challenge this week is Kid Chameleon really? uh, for the Sega Genesis oh, yeah. um, originally. If you have another way, means of playing it, uh, go right ahead um, legally. Uh, and um, you can visit our site at insertcointobegin.com. Uh, follow us on Twitter at, at insertcointb. And that'll do it for us. Game over, guys. <laughs>